Did a bitterly disappointing result, especially with that second half performance put in by your side. Yeah, uh, you hit the nail on it. To be fair, um, bitterly disappointing to lose the match. Certainly, um, but we certainly deserve something out of the game. At, at least a point. Um, in the second half, um, performance was um, certainly a lot better than the first. But um, certainly, I don't think that we can go home tonight with uh, um, other than disappointment. You maybe can't argue with the quality of the York goal, but do you, mm. do you feel that in the second half decisions didn't go your way? Some of those crucial refereeing decisions didn't go in your favour, did they? Excellent interviewing. Thank you for that. Didn't go our way, no. You're absolutely right. Um, certainly decisions that have led to opportunities, um, and we've seen them go against us this season. So um, I'm not here to make excuses, but you've hit the nail on the head as a reporter. Um, Certainly, I felt we deserved the penalty. I think Jake's the man's manhandling. His honesty, his honesty has cost us. What do you make of the red card for Luke Foster? Yeah, it was really, it was red, that was the right decision. He shouldn't have gone to the ground, and he shouldn't have took the boy out. Um, Should York City have had a player sent off? Yes, could easily. It, no, yes, he could have been sent off. Yes, the referee interpreted it a different way than we did, and all of the uh, faithful here. Um, so he interpreted it a different way. Uh, I think um, Martin Foyle used his wisdom in taking the boy off straight away, didn't he? So that tells you a story. Um, he was very fortunate to still be on with uh, 10 minutes. A word on Jake Spate. You mentioned his honesty there, but you know, a real firecracker, <coughs> a real Jake Spate performance. And, and it's good to see him back on the pitch. And that must be a real silver lining you can take. It certainly is, David. Um, we've missed him. We've missed him. And, that impression he makes and any manager will tell you if you've got a player like that and he's not in the side um, you're gonna be um, lacking that little burst and um, I know tonight it showed but I've had to be careful with Jake because I don't want him to miss the remainder of the season. What about your other three strikers? Is it a case of those strikers not performing or those strikers not getting the quality of, of service? First half there was no quality really. Um, we were edgy, um, and I make no bones about that, we were edgy. Um, we showed um, a lot of anxious uh, performances in the first half. Put that on different aspects, and that's for another day. But um, second half, we came out. I asked the boys to relax a little bit in the first half. We were very, um, we gave the ball away cheaply. Um, they came again, packed the midfield out. Um, so we changed that a little bit, and went like for like. So it was a bit of a stalemate at times, wasn't it? So I can see, you know the frustrations, but second half we had a real good go. Defensively, let's turn to that end of the pitch. At times in the first half, yeah. York were on top. So you must be pleased with with how the, you know your team have yeah. shaped up in defence again. Yeah, it was going to be a wonder goal that or something a slip or something. It was never a penalty, by the way. I mean, Mazes is a wonderful save. Never a penalty. The boys outside the box. Um, so decisions didn't go right there. But I'm, yeah, I'm proud of my defending the qualities we've shown. We stood firm. But um, I say you can't do nothing about the goal. It's an excellent strike from the boy. Eight points off that fifth spot. Are you mm. still in the, in the promotion chest? Well, we are. Someone's got to, we've got to take advantage if we can. And I said that to the players. There's a lot of down, downhearted players in there. Um, I think I'd like to thank the fans for giving the you know the, the, you know the, um, attention at the end. Uh, certainly, there's a few people that obviously will go home disappointed. Of course they will. But um, I think they've got behind the players at the end, and I think they showed that that we didn't. Um, Certainly uh, showed a spirit, a fight, which is what you're after. Um, but no, I feel that uh, defensively we, we were sound and it was a good goal. It's fair to say, maybe, David, that you've now got to rely on other results going your way. Yeah, that's a fair comment. There's still 27 points to fight for and that's what I've expressed to the players. Um, I think the people know us by now. We, we roll our sleeves up and fight. We do all we can to achieve as much as possible. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that can be said and done right now, but... Um, Tonight, I can't fault the second half performance and certainly um, we'll dust ourselves down and uh, look at the players tomorrow. One final question, it's hissing away now for you, it's a case of just taking each game as it comes, isn't it? Yeah, it's been that way for a while, hasn't it? It certainly has and obviously, um, uh, you know, there's a, we're all hurting tonight, I'm hurting, I'm sure there's a few fans that are hurting as well, but um, so I'm not going to keep uh, slamming my players. They worked hard tonight, we didn't have the, enough to break them down and um, on another night, we, decisions may have gone for us. For us. But however, um, the football's like that at times. You have to get on with it. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Thank you.
Yeah. Well, David, how tough is it to take that defeat? Extremely tough, yes. Um, uh, there are a lot of downhearted players in the dressing room. As we are as, as staff and, and management and obviously people and the fans will be. But um, I think on the second half showing we at least deserve the point out of this. Because it's made you slip now eight points off the playoff places, many people will write you off at this stage. What's your thoughts on it? Intelligence. You have to have intelligence and you have to know that one thing that we've got inside the dressing room is a spirit inside the dressing room. And obviously we, we have to know that you know, we're eight points behind, as you rightly say. There's, so intelligently, you have to say, right, we have to make sure we capitalise on any slips. York have been on um, um, a poor run recently. So, you know, they'd be delighted to go home here with three points. They'd be, they'd be over the moon. Um, and um, on reflection of that, we have to make sure we, we take any advantage of any slip-ups anybody else makes. Do you believe they can go on the sort of run they need to, to get into the playoffs? Yeah, it's a good question right now, um, but I know we've got the quality in there. I certainly believe we've got the spirit inside the camp. Um, not tonight, at, at times, we were a little bit anxious in the first half, certainly. A little bit more composure. I, I felt that the players understood, you know, what the fans understood. It's a, it's a big game and we wanted to win it. And I think they showed a lot of nerves in the first half. But at half-time, I just said to them, look, go and you know, relax a little bit and take an extra touch if you need it. Sometimes we're releasing the ball too quickly and giving it away. Um, but in the second half performance, I think... Um, Showed a lot of spirit, and certainly when the substitutions were made, we went, um, we looked a little bit more powerful, a little bit more um, asking more questions. And I felt that um, things didn't go well for us with regards to decision being made for us. But you know, I can't, do, I'm not going to smash my players for the spirit they showed. I can't do that. Well, they looked hungry for it in the second half. Yeah. You're going to need that, aren't you, for 90 minutes yeah. throughout the rest of the season? Well, we go to Histon. We'll dust ourselves down tomorrow morning. Um, we go to Histon, we've, you know, our away record's decent. So we've got to make sure we can go and get, try and get three points of Of course, you're going to have Luke Foster missing in, in matches now after that, after that sending off, and no complaints? No, I've got no complaints about the... the I will say, I, I debate the first one, because it was outside the box. I've seen it on the DVD, it looks five yards at least outside. So it was, I don't think it was a penalty, I think the referee was poorly placed. But I've got no, um, I can't complain about the second one, no, there's no complaints about that too. He shouldn't have gone to ground, he shouldn't have took the boy out. And I think um, yeah, everything's done in the heat of the battle, isn't it? And he's a centre half, he cared, he thought he was playing very, very well as well. So it's going to be a big miss. The frustration is, of course, that many people believe, I know I do, that they should have been down to 10 men just a few minutes before, and that would have changed the course of the game at that point. I'd like to congratulate you on that, <laughs> David, for, for saying that as well. And um, You witnessed that. And uh, again, things didn't go right for us with, in, with regards to a, a referee's decision. I thought his timekeeping was better than the one on Saturday. Um, he didn't have his Mickey Mouse watch. Um, but no, they didn't go right for us, and it could have easily, easily been very different, couldn't it? Do the players need picking up after this? Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. That's why I've got them tomorrow. Just to dust themselves down, we'll go through uh, little bits tomorrow and have a, have a good chat. and. Regroup, regroup. There's good character inside the uh, in the camp here. Some very good players here. But obviously, we're, it's a blow tonight, and obviously we all go home a little bit disappointed. Thanks, David. Thank you. Just, we weren't entirely sure. Just to clarify, it, it was Foster's tackle for the penalty, then, was it? That they gave it was you? deemed. It was deemed to be Foster's yeah. tackle. I we, thought we it was Nicholas. Yeah, because we, we, we thought it was Foster and Nicholas, and, and then we didn't know if, I if think Luke the referee was poorly placed. I think the referee was poorly placed to give that decision, and also I don't think he knew what one it was because there was a debate on who had been booked. So I think even um, the our players didn't know who had been booked. So uh, again, it didn't go well for us. And in terms of losing a player, uh, your captain, um, he's going to be a big loss. Is it just Saturday's going to miss? Or? I think so. It'd be one yeah. game, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, it's, it's another sort of player you don't need to lose, and we, you know, we, we've got a fairly thin squad now as it is, having people out on loan. I don't really, I don't really envisage having to recall somebody, but if I have to, I will. We, we talked about the, the sort of four home games in quick succession. I mean, is this, you know, really one one of those something that you'll perhaps look back on at the end of the season and say that might be? Well, I always felt, I always felt um, it could really work in our favour. Yeah. But they're always going to be big games and I think mean, anybody anybody can see that. And they're always three points that we're worth fighting for. And tonight was something I mean, we didn't get the rubber to green tonight and yeah. um, and I'm not going to chastise the players for that. And I felt as I say, I felt the fans um, showed their appreciation at the end, you know. 
they're all disappointed, and, and I am. I am as a manager. But my players are as well. We've got, um, we've got to pick them up and keep uh, pushing away and keep working hard. Be professional. And um, if anybody anybody does slip, then we've got to take advantage of that. You know, eight points is um, still still manageable, and we've got to believe that. The players believe it because I know the type of character they are.